Good morning, America. <clears throat> That's the wife. You know what time it is, right? That's right. It's coffee time with Cobra. Yes. We're just going to be on the back porch today, at the same time. In my boxes. I just woke up. And I figured I'd let the dogs out. Braddock, Kissy, and the four babies. We found one of the babies a, a good home and found out another one of the babies that we found a home for needs to find a new home because the people who bought, who bought him have moved to a new place and they don't allow pets. So that is a bit sad. So there's that. My Braddock, he's starting to show uh, a warning sign about a potential problem. Uh, if anyone knows about Staffordshire Bull Terriers, you know that they uh, potentially could end up with uh, uh, breathing problems. And uh, you'll notice that uh, if you're a Staffordshire Bull Terrier after running or playing or whatever, starts literally water dripping from his nose, you know, it's a sign of a sinus infection or a sinus issue. And that you need to get them into a vet immediately because uh, Otherwise they'll start breathing that in and they'll get liquid in their lungs and they will drown. It is a issue with Staffordshire Bull Terriers and my Braddock, I love him. Bacon, sausage, whatever you want to call him, he's my boy. He's more rolly than he is walky. Here he is. Say hi Braddock. Say hi to your tubes. <laughs> and that's Kissy. <laughs> we are a bully house. Most of our dogs are either half-breed or full-breed bully, uh, uh, Staffordshire Bull Terrier, American Pit Bull, uh, uh, you name it. <laughs> and Kissy is half, uh, uh, um, half Pit Bull, half uh, um, Labrador. Um, Braddock is full Staffordshire Bull Terrier, and the babies are half American Bulldog, uh, half Pit Bull, half Hawaiian Red Nose. And um, two of the boys have the Hawaiian red nose size, and two of them have the mama's American Bulldog build. So they're quite tall and slender. They keep getting confused with either boxes or, or uh, whippets, greyhounds. I'm like, no. <laughs> they are. And when I tell, tell them what they are, the people are petting on them and loving them, they're like, ooh. It's like, it's not the breed, it's how you raise them. You know? I love my coffee in the mornings. Well, it was a bit cold last night. It was in the lower 20s. Uh, everyone was saying, oh, finally, we're going to get our snow. We're going to get our snows. Do you see any fucking snow on the ground? Because I sure as fuck don't, unless I'm colour blind the colour white. You know? There's no snow there. There's no snow in the mountains. There's no snow anywhere. I'm like, fucking weatherman lied to us. Goddamn weatherman. You done, sausage? Braddock. You done, boy? Well, come on in. You want to say hi? Say hi to YouTube. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. That's my boy. <laughs> he's so expressive when he's happy. His bum wiggles. He's all happy. And damn near falls apart. If he, if he, if he was a Millennium Falcon, he would shake himself apart. <laughs> Kissy. Come on, girl. Come on, baby girl. Come on, baby. Love you, baby girl. In the home. Yeah, it's nice and warm. Yeah, Kissy, um, she's got lab fur, but not the lab fat ability. Labradors have this thing where they can store fat, and pit bulls don't, which is why pit bulls do feel the cold a lot easier than other breeds. And so poor Kissy, she's got the lab fur, but she doesn't have the lab fat re retention thing. And so she's always cold. <laughs> oh, bless her. And yeah, we do live in Utah. I know, and you think, how would we get her a Hawaiian red nose? Well, my buddy Eddie, he had, had, being the key worker, because he's gone now, had a Hawaiian red nose female, their, their grandmother. And she's still around, she's still around. She's now being taken care for 
by a friend of mine, Pete, and um, he bred her once, once, just once, because he, he swore up and down, he'd never do it again. <laughs> I told him you, 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 you'd end up never doing it again. Didn't believe me. Uh, bred her to a, another male Hawaiian red nose. No, they weren't related. And um, so my Churchill was 100% uh, purebred Hawaiian red nose. And um, he's, he was papered and everything. We had to get rid of Churchill because he attacked Braddock and tore his shoulder and his neck and in, in his ear real bad, made him bleed and everything. Um, we think it was because uh, uh, the, the pup's mum was in heat and Braddock has had, had pups before. He knows what to do. And it was just a jealousy thing and Churchill attacked him. And I don't put up with in a pack fighting. I don't. Um, when you own more than one dog, you are creating a pack with that animal. And I'm not talking about a pact like a pact with the devil. I mean, to the dog, you are part of its pack. It's part of your pack. That's why some animals are very in tune with your emotions. When you're sad, they'll want to cuddle you. When you're happy, they'll get happy. When you're sad, they want to cheer you up. You know, that this is why Dottie, uh, um, the only female at the litter, is my wife's emotional animal. Because when my wife is upset, Dottie will do everything and anything in her power to cheer mum up. And I mean anything. Uh, same as Montgomery. Montgomery is my... Uh, he's very in tune when I start getting problems with my PTSD. Uh, 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 Montgomery will, will uh, go out of his way to try and get into my office, include knocking down the safety gate and whatnot, and just start nosing my hand, you know? Like, pay attention to me, Dad. Pay attention to me. You know, focus on me. Focus on me. And I love him for that. I'll always love him for that because, he's, like I said, he does what Braddock does. Braddock is my papered, my documented uh, 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 emotional support animal when it comes to my PTSD. And Dottie is in the process of getting her little vest and, and her paperwork and everything else. She's got to go off to the, poli uh, the, the Castledale Police canine unit to get her a uh, certification for things like uh, sit, stay and stop to make sure that she doesn't... Uh, 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 because she'll be allowed to go into buildings where other animals can't go, including courtrooms. Utah passed a law that says that your companion animal uh, can, within certain limitations, i.e. if it's like a rhino or a hippopotamus or whatever, an elephant, you can't take it. But if it's a dog, uh, um, regardless of the breed, you can take it into a courtroom for emotional support. And so we just need to get her vest and everything else done. Hey, stop eating the grass, come on! And so, I'm actually going outside in my bloody undies. Ugh. Little buggers. Wicky, wick it. Come on. <laughs> Come on, monsters. All right, guys. I'm going to end this coffee time here. I'm going to get these monsters in.